Austin, Texas. To start, I have lived in Austin for all of my life, up until I moved to Corpus Christi for college. This short film is about the city and its people. The city of Austin has been ranked number one for three straight years in a row by Business Insider as the best city to live in America. In my opinion, part of what makes the city of Austin one of the most beautiful cities to live in and enjoy is all of the green spaces. These green spaces include parks and other recreation areas. This allows for the citizens of Austin to relax and enjoy nature. According to Austin Parks and Recreation, there are over 300 parks, 40 pools, 227 miles of trails, and over 18,714 acres of green space in the city. Keep in mind, this does not include neighborhood pools, neighborhood parks, or trails. The city of Austin spends a great deal of resources on leisure activities and areas for its citizens. As you can see, there are over 122 tennis courts, 76 basketball courts, 35 baseball fields, and 47 volleyball courts. Having these green spaces throughout the city is not only a leisurely positive, but also an economic positive, as over 719 staff are full-time at the Austin Parks and Recreation, and over 1,500 part-time staff are hired every year. That's over 2,000 people who are dedicated and passionate about keeping Austin beautiful with parks and other areas. As you can see, according to Austin Parks and Recreation, over $38 million will be spent on aquatics, building improvements, golf, land acquisition for more parks, playscapes, and trails. This next video that I have taken while out on a bike trail, you can see small teepee-like structures that kids may have built. I thought this was a perfect way to show how people of all ages can enjoy Austin Parks. On this next infographic, you can see that on November 6, 2018, voters in Austin approved a new bond for $215 million for Austin Parks. In this next small clip, I've decided to show off the different levels of terrain that this bike trail has and how dense the woods are. You might not believe it, but this is less than 100 yards from a major road. On the next infographic, from Austin Parks and Recreation, you can see that over 20,000 park volunteers put in a total of 54,523 volunteer hours dedicated to Austin Parks. In this next clip, I have decided to show off a dry creek bed. Usually, this would be filled with water and people. Unfortunately, there are no people out today due to restrictions. My next area of discussion will be Austin as a dog-friendly city. Many people might not think this is important, but when it comes to attracting new citizens of Austin, I think this is one of the most important things, as a dog-friendly city more than likely means it's a people-friendly city as well. In this next small video clip, I have decided to show off a forest area right next to a drain collection area. During normal times, this could usually be seen filled with people practicing mountain bike maneuvers and skateboarding. Another big aspect I wanted to touch on is the wildlife in Austin. 
people in Austin generally respect wildlife and enjoy it. As you can see here, there is a squirrel with a strawberry and a small inchworm. In this next clip, I'm showing off Dick Nichols Park, which is less than a mile away from my house and has a city pool and a one mile jogging track that can also be used for bikes. As you can see in the video, there are many trails and a baseball field. After looking at all of the infographics, I would like to point out that I believe the city of Austin is not only financially committed but morally committed to its citizens and maintaining all of the green spaces for the people to enjoy. Although I cannot show how busy the parks usually are, I would like to take this time to show you the beauty that can still be enjoyed while you're alone and on the trails. I hope you can understand how passionate I am about these parks and keeping them beautiful for many others to enjoy. I believe the city of Austin should serve as a role model to other cities, especially in the Parks and Recreation Department, as the city of Austin is filled with green spaces for its citizens to enjoy on a weekend or any time of day. I think this is extremely important for the community's health, mentally and physically. Due to the current situation in Austin, I'm not allowed to leave my house unless it's going to the grocery store or other essential tasks. Therefore, I have only compiled footage of parks that are within biking range of my house, but I still think this gives a clear description and a clear visual representation of what Austin parks are like.